So this is the old YouTube channel, or old YouTube channel. <clears throat> and we basically got my channel. We got a um, bunch of videos. Um, had Jenny not passed away, I think I would have stuck uh, more strongly with this hiatus. I was doing pretty well, actually. Like a month without uploading a video. Then Jenny passed away and I was just doing something like try to get my mind off it. In retrospect, this was not that uh, great an idea, as you can see, because uh, since this hiatus announcement, the amount of videos I made recently has gone up. Granted, I had a spring break in this time frame. And I've been on and off about trying to do a Blu-ray update, so I've just been uh, finally digging up some old stuff out of the archives from a few months ago or even years ago. And also making new content. Now, why is this video privated? Um, it's a good question. I don't know. Actually, that's not true. I do know. Because I'm saving this for when I do get my new hamster shortbread who I will be adopting very soon she's another Chinese dwarf hamster that has been through some trauma but I want to adopt the baby because I love these little guys I mean Johnny here he had um, his tail ripped off and Jet was a classroom pet did I post that old video of Jet no, I didn't, but as you can see, I dug up some old Johnny videos. This one here, I put some stock music in. Uh, primarily because, well, one big reason is this. For those of you that weren't aware, uh, at this time, on this date, yeah, I think this is the exact date this shit happened. My iPod Nano got fucked. I stuck it in the wash and it got fucked up like the mic got fucked up and the battery life got fucked up it still works with an external microphone amazingly enough like I don't fucking know how Apple went from a quality product like the iPod Nano like from 2009 it's a pretty old piece of tech to a fucking iPhone that breaks in your back pocket. I know that shit's two years old, but whatever. Yeah, but here's just some videos of Johnny, or a video of Johnny, I should say. Had an old printer back then. Okay, it's recording system audio, so yeah, a little little baby. All right, so let's go to Social Blade. Oh, okay, so it says I gained three subs. And I don't know why I'm checking Social Blade. Here's why, actually. <sighs> Until I see a check from Google, I don't give a fuck. Yes, my videos are monetized. What the fuck? It says here I got like 193. Now it says I got... No, 393. Now it says I got... Hold on, let me check this shit. This is annoying. It says 393 here. So like, what the, oh, okay. Great, it worked. So you can find a Twitter on here. You can find YouTube and a Twitter, I think. I don't really know what the fuck the Twitter is gonna be. Yeah, there's a Twitter. I now have an official Darth Bry Boy Twitter. Well, I I guess they categorize the channel as news primarily because I do a lot of rant videos about politics and stuff. And everybody's going through a bunch of people here. 
Wait, what the hell? I just saw CNN here. CNN Money's here. It's got a rank of B, but it's CNN. So, if I'm ranked in this category, I must be doing uh, pretty well for myself as a YouTube crowd. As a YouTube. As a YouTube content creator. Um. Future projections. Here we go. So. Oh, that's. That's better than it used to be. Okay. So, it says by the year 2022. If I survive that long on YouTube. But. I've done pretty well for myself. Uh, the secret on YouTube when you get a strike is to wait it out. Whatever the hell you got that strike for, just upload different content. And just wait that motherfucker out. I did that after a video of mine got deleted, and I guess, okay. Okay, won't make that type of video anymore. Won't make it. Touched the waters a little bit, and I think I've gotten three different strikes on my YouTube channel. First one I got was in 2010, which happened while I was on vacation. I didn't have my computer. I didn't have a computer. I had, I checked the, my, the family computer, which had a user for me. You know, I'm assuming if you have... You know, you might have a family room with the family laptop or the family desktop. And everyone's got their own little user account on that computer or whatever. Uh, then they'll just do that shit. But, what's interesting is that it's saying by 2022, uh, April 22nd, 2022, I may possibly uh, freaking... Now, this is kind of depressing, because you're looking at years from now. They're saying I'll break, like, a million in July of, two, of 2021. 2021 will be when I break a million. That'd be nice. If that's true, anyway. I don't know how accurate their stuff is. They they base it on the current projections of your channel. Uh, they they direct, they DM me on Twitter. I think I could probably get the DM. Well, that did nothing. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show a beer, but I'm not sponsored by them. Guinness. Guinness... American Blonde is amazing. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. There. I have... Is this like Alex Jones in court? Cause fuck this guy. What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, I get it. Yeah, Trump's a douchebag, but I think we've already established this. Is that a real building? <laughs> I think I'd be warmly welcomed. <laughs> but seriously, though, uh, the Guinness American Blonde, I'll take a picture of the beer and you guys can look at it. It's really good beer.
Okay. So that's the beer. It's a good beer. You guys should try it. Plus, it's in my state. So that's good. So it's like I'm supporting a local brew. Kind of. Well, state brew, I should say. Anyway, it's a good beer, and you guys should try it. Anyway, uh, let me get the DM up. Here's the DM. They followed me on Twitter after I uh, retweeted uh, their projections for my channel. I uh, I just have accurate on your predictions. They they're based on your current stats, like in terms of the way my channel is going in terms of views, subscribers, and other interactions. Yes, all future projections are based on how well you're traveling in your current 30-day stats. Okay, thanks. So I've been on YouTube since 2010. Lots changed. Used to be a lot more simple, I think, with what type of content was acceptable. But actually, I never really paid the paid attention to what videos were fucking popular in 2010. All I did was post videos from my iPod or my shitty camera and uploaded shit just because I'm like, oh, YouTube, whatever. Then I guess kept building my content up. <sighs> Almost at 400 subs. Could be better. A lot better. But YouTube isn't my life. It's a passion and a hobby. If you're going into YouTube for trying to get a career, then you're going in for the wrong reasons. The likelihood of anyone getting a YouTube career is like playing Russian roulette. It really is. Okay, it's like playing... No, I think my Russian roulette analogy worked. I'm going to fave this tweet because I haven't called it cuck. Yeah, it's bad to say it's cool. Hey, it's Lindsay Ellis. Oh, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what the hell? Terrence Strong got a kid. Anyway, live long and prosper and have a nice day, everyone.